meet Annie. Annie has got a bit of a double whammy. She has both asthma and allergies. She gets tired a lot and has trouble sleeping some nights. Currently, Annie uses a puffer and takes over-the-counter medicine when her allergies act up. These work okay, I guess, but there's gotta be a cure for this stuff, right? She might have come to see a doctor, like me, to discuss safe and proven treatment options. But with the thought of long wait times <sighs> and potentially impersonal service, Annie thought twice, like many people do. You know, my friends are always complaining about Western medicine, how they're all in the pockets of Big Pharma, the real drug pushers. It's all over the internet. Just last week, Annie's friend Jason said that he went to see a naturopath and that he was feeling much better. Listening to her friend's story, like many people do, Annie went to see the naturopath. She seemed caring, spent a full hour with Annie asking her questions and learning about her. She tested Annie, found some allergies, and prescribed some homeopathic remedies. Annie left merrily on her way, feeling like everything was great. Why, you ask? The naturopath used scientifically unsupported testing methods to diagnose several food sensitivities that likely don't exist. And homeopathy, the most common treatment advertised by naturopaths, is literally water. It is the most scientifically disproven treatment in all of alternative medicine. In fact, Naturopaths aren't alone here. All kinds of alternative health practitioners, such as acupuncturists and chiropractors, offer services and treatments for which there is no substantial evidence to support their claims. Plus, they can charge a ton for their services. Wait, 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 are you saying Jason was lying? He swears his naturopath really helped him. Jason likely experienced the placebo effect. So? Believing in your treatment can have a real impact. Something is working. What's the problem? If you find yourself split, know what's science and know what's bunk. Make the informed choice.